solution to this example first thing to do get it into Power Query and just see how it handles it so you'll see where it says date it's decided that it thinks it's a number just it's always useful just to remove the type because you never actually know perhaps there's a leading zero somewhere so I want this to be basically in its raw format first thing we know is that these ones are problems so we need to get rid of them or split this column so that the one the initial one is removed so I'm going to go here split it I'm going to use number of characters I'm going to tell it I want to split the first character and not repeat it only once as far left as possible so just take that one and put it somewhere else so now what we've got is it's in a slightly better format the problem that Power Query is going to have then is is that 13 a year or is it a day definitely not a month but it could be a day so because it's been entered as two digits instead of a traditional four digits for a year this can cause us a problem so we're going to have to just think carefully about that so what I'm going to do here I'm split it so it looks like if I split it into columns based on two characters each so I'm going to split it by number of characters again I'm going to use two characters and I can repeat it doesn't matter in this case now I know that this here the 13 represents a year so I'm just going to label it as year that's a month And that's a day. We're now going to use our custom column to create a for formula. Let's call it date formula hash date open bracket. Now we can use this year but the problem is a year of 13 doesn't mean much. So I'm going to say the year use that but add 2000 to it. So I need to have that appear as 2013. I'm going to put a comma, put the month in, comma, put the day in, close it, make sure it's OK, click OK. Seems to have got it right, but let's just format it as a date. OK, so that looks good. Let's just check. 5th of June 2013, that looks correct. 24th of June 2013 that looks correct. So don't be scared to play with the data if you have a problem figure out what Excel is seeing, what it's doing and find a solution to that problem.